What's up guys, it's Nathan Bell from High Level Performance and in this video I'm going to take you through some different mountain climber progressions and regressions for your training program. Okay, so the first one that we're going to work on is our basic mountain climber. So we're going to set up in a push-up position. Okay, I want to have my core nice and tight. So, well, I want to make sure a couple of common errors that I see in the basic mountain climber are people collapsing at the shoulder blades, okay? So we want to stay strong, we want to push into the floor, and we don't want any bend at the elbow. From this position, I want to keep my uh, back level and straight, so I shouldn't be collapsing at the hips, and then I'm going to come in, okay, push back, come in, drive away. So I'm thinking about squeezing the abdominals and driving backwards. You can speed that up, personally I prefer to do it nice and slow and controlled, if we're looking more to get the heart rate up, we can go faster. However, if you're going to go faster, make sure that you're keeping technique. So another common error I see is that people think that they're doing a good core exercise and their butt's up in the air here, okay? You can go fast, but you need to make sure that you're squeezing into the abdominal muscles and you're keeping that nice parallel position, okay? So, that is our standard mountain climber. We can then progress that. The next one we're going to have a look at, so the next uh, exercise could be a mountain climber to the outside, so we get a bit more uh, oblique engagement. So, for this one, same start position, but I'm going to try and drive knee to elbow, just about elbow, push back. Okay, drive to the other side, push back. So, the goal here is to try and get that knee up nice and high, so as I do that, I'm going to start getting the obliques and twisting, so I'm getting a little bit of lateral flexion uh, and that lateral side crunch, uh, crunching type movement pattern. Okay, again on there, the focus, don't let the butt come up, so we keep it set, core tight. You can twist the body a little bit, so here, and then drive. Okay, but keep control of your hips and your pelvis, don't sink down and don't let the butt come up too high either. Another good variation we can do is we can uh, do across the body. So diagonal, I'm going to do my right knee to my left elbow, okay? So for this one, core tight. I want to try and bring right knee across the body and almost see if I can get it as close as I can to the left elbow, okay? So driving it across the body there. Another variation that we can work on a little bit harder, this one's going to put more stress on the shoulders, is a planche style uh, mountain climber, okay? So it's going to put a little bit more stress through the shoulder, and we're also going to get a little bit more compression and tension through the abdominal. So, for this one, you can turn the hands out slightly, so you can ease on the wrist. From our standard position, we're then going to come forwards, okay? So weight onto the toes, dome in through the upper back, but keep the hips down. One, two, three. Okay, so that one I'm getting a bit more rounding through the upper, still squeezing the glutes tight and keeping the engagement, and then letting that leg come in and out again. Okay, so there are four different variations of our mountain kind of movement that we can work on um, to get you started. So, just to roll through quickly. Okay, so that's a few of our different mountain climber variations. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it went through a few technical uh, errors that people normally 